welcome to this is JJ714 coming at you. Um, at work, um, well, one of the things that I, um, I strive to do this year, and I don't believe in making New Year's resolutions, um, because a lot of times, like everybody else, I get busy, and I'm going to just be honest, unless it's something that I really feel that I need to do, I won't do it anyway. But, um, I do want to work on my weight loss, um, because a few years ago, um, when I say a few years ago, it was probably 1997, um, I believe, September, I, um, weighed over about 240-something pounds, and, um, I, um, lost one of my favorite uncles, and then my first cousin, which was his son, died, um, not even a month after my uncle passed away, and so, um, with that, it, it really, um, you know, did something for me, it, it affected me a lot, because, um, he was my favorite uncle, he was just like a father to me, and my cousin, um, even though we had not seen each other for years, um, we... And I was older than him as well, and we played together, and I know he had gone through an illness before and was getting somewhat better, so it was really, really, um, I took both of their deaths hard, even though I know that they're in heaven right now, and they're waiting for me when I get there. Um, I miss them. I do miss them daily. But um, what I did to lose the weight was um, I basically walked. And I um, changed my eating habits to the point that I stopped eating sweets and I um, stopped eating a lot of breads and pasta and rice and all that kind of stuff. I mostly ate fresh vegetables uh, like salads. Um, I love broccoli. I started eating um, mostly chicken and turkey and fish. I did eat some red meats, but I limited my red meat intake. And um, I drank a lot of water, but what I did mostly was I walked, and I lost my first, I started like the end of September, and um, by, I believe it was February of um, 2008, um, I had actually lost about 45 pounds. Now, what I ended up doing to lose the rest of the weight, um, I went to, at the time, they had a center called L.A. Weight Loss, and this is just a, um, I get these in the mail, um, they, I'm not sure if they still have any of these centers open here in Atlanta, I have it that way because this way is here, but, um, they, um, um, it actually had, they had, you know, different products that you could buy. Like now, the only thing that I really um, used um, was that I had their LA bars. Um, and then I think I tried their, um, it's some type of drink that they had. But it helped me lose the rest of the, the weight that I had lost. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to lose all the weight that I wanted to lose with them because, um, with downsizing and everything, they ended up closing that particular store. Um, and then shortly after that, I ended up losing my job. So um, the stress of trying to find a job and um, I just, you know, got depressed and whatever. So I actually gained quite a bit of that weight back. And so now I'm in the process of, uh, you know, trying to lose weight again. I'm older. Um, like I've said to quite a few of you, I'll be 50 this year. <laughs> so um, what I used to do is not necessarily working for me now like it did then. So I just have to realize that it's a lifetime, lifestyle change for me as far as um, trying to eat more healthier and exercise and finding the time to get rest, um, get, you know, out of stressful situations, um, which there's one that I need to get out of now, <laughs> but I won't elaborate on that, <laughs> but uh, um, basically, I'm just really, really, um, you know, 
at a point in my life where I really do want to lose the weight, but it's not so much losing weight as having and living a healthy lifestyle because I do have a daughter. She's 11 and I have a great husband and I want to be here for them. Um, so what happened was my job, um, I think it was December, I got an email and uh, one of the uh, young ladies at our job, um, I guess she, and I'm grateful that I work for a company that, you know, they do have a, a fitness and wellness um, program established for our company, but unfortunately right now, because I'm not really permanent, I can't benefit from the whole program, but I can take partake in it at this point. But one of the young ladies decided that she wanted to get something started because apparently, I guess about a year or so ago, they actually had a Weight Watchers group there at the company. Why it's not there anymore, I don't know. But I figure if I can find out if enough of us can get get interested, maybe we can start another one. Um, the thing that I do like about Weight Watchers is that, and not so much because Jennifer Hudson, because... Jennifer is Jennifer, and I am me. <laughs> but um, what I liked about Weight Watchers is you can eat your own foods. You don't have to worry about, you know, eating their foods per se, even though they do make products or whatever. But it's not one of those programs that you have to eat their foods. They do allow you to, you know, eat what you want within, I think they go by a point system or whatever. But, um... What um, she does is, what she decided to do was back in December, getting back to this email again, um, they decided starting last week, which um, the 16th was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, so we weren't there, but actually on the 17th. So we get, we're allowed two 15-minute breaks at work. So what um, we do, or what she established is that um, the company bought a DVD. Now, this is uh, I've had, this is my own DVD, and I've had this DVD for probably about a couple years because I actually do it whenever I wasn't going to the gym. When I was faithfully going to the gym, or uh, you know, if you know I had an appointment and I can couldn't make it to the gym, I would do this video um, or the other one that I'm going to show you. But it's uh, called Leslie. Sansone's Walk at Home. Well, this one is Walk at Home. But um, she has, uh, she makes a, a series of DVDs called Walk Away to Pounds. And um, this particular DVD is a three mile DVD. Um, now, it takes for each DVD, each mile is 15 minutes. So if you, you did, excuse me, I'm burping. If you did all three miles, um, you would. Um, and then they have a three minute cool down uh, you would do a total of 48 minutes with this particular DVD and I have promised a friend of mine saying if she's watching she knows this is the DVD that I will be sending you <laughs> but um, now she has um, like I said she does walk away the pounds um, DVD and she has uh, it's actually two different DVDs. They're five miles DVDs, but just like with the three miles, you can do the one mile. Let me see. You can do the one mile, you can do the two mile, or you can do all three miles. With her, um, excuse me, with her, um, the five miles, the same thing. You can do one mile, you can do two miles, you can do three miles, four miles, or five miles. Each mile, it takes 15 minutes, and I can say that every time I did this one, trust me, it gives you a great workout. So, if you're a person who you know you need to exercise, because we all should exercise, whether you're healthy, not healthy, fat or thin, everybody needs some exercise. So, if you say, well, I don't have time to exercise, you have at least 15 minutes. Put down the TV, put down the, turn off the TV, or actually you'll need the TV for this. But, stop watching Dr. Phil or 
the doctors, all of those are great shows, but I do know that the doctors always are trying to get you to exercise and eat right <laughs> so that they won't have to see us that often. <laughs> but basically what I'm saying is there's no excuse. They have DVDs out that it does not take long to work out. And the great thing about it is once you start doing it, you will feel great. But what we do at work, um, not this one, but she makes the DVD that we do at work um, for 15 minutes at 10 o'clock, which is normally when most people take their first 15 minute break, and also 15 minutes at 2 o'clock, we walk one mile. And um, that one mile walk, I mean, it normally takes a lot to get me to sweat. I sweat. So, the first day that I did the, the, you know, the 15 minute or the one mile walk, I decided, oh, well, I had my sneakers on and I had jeans on and I had my long sleeve shirt. Well, I decided that was not going to work for me because I was sweating. So, what I have to do now is take some workout pants and a you know t-shirt or something to work to change out because I sweat <laughs> so that was one thing the other thing that um, I'm doing and what I was given when I went to the first workout was um, the 17 day diet workbook by Dr. Mike Moreno now, any of you who are on hair lista, and um, some of the, I think there's two weight loss challenges that I'm in, um, I put something about this on here. Now, this particular workbook, um, here in the U.S., it's $13.99, in Canada, it's $15.99, but this was actually given to me, and it says, Your Guide to Healthy Weight Loss with Rapid Results. Basically, um, I'm not going to tell you everything about the diet, <laughs> but uh, it starts out, it has four different cycles. Um, cycle one is called the accelerated cycle. It lasts 17 days. Cycle two is called the activate uh, cycle. It lasts 17 days. Cycle three is called the achieve cycle. It lasts 17 days and cycle 4 is the rise cycle and it lasts of course as you already know 17 days but the beauty of this is um, you can repeat cycle 1 again if you feel that you need to do that and if you do it according to what the book prescribes and the doctor is he's a legitimate doctor he has been on the doctors on doctor Feel, and I believe there's also um, another doctor, I'm trying to think of his name right off the box, and I can't remember his name, but he's been on his show. And um, this is a doctor, he's not a quack, but he is a genuine doctor, and um, he really, he's a family practice doctor, and he um, truly desires to help people who, you know, want to achieve their dreams of having um healthier, slimmer body and to be the best that they can be. So, not only do, this is a workbook, but you can also, if you're like me, you own an e-reader, this is my Kindle Fire. Um, I also have the book, that's how I open it, on um, my Kindle Fire, which is right there and that's the book and um basically um this pretty much is um some of the information that you find on um, you can download it and i downloaded it on my kindle fire it was like 11.99 um so if you have like if you don't have a kindle fire but you do have the kindle uh app you can download it on your kindle app for um $11.99, but I believe you have to have at least 
Well, if you have a Kindle app, you should have a Kindle um, account, I would hope, because otherwise you won't be able to download books. But um, just saying that if you don't have a Kindle, if you have a device such as like my black form of BlackBerry, and I also have the Kindle app on my iPhone, you can download the book um, to read. But the book um, has very similar information that the workbook has, but the workbook, you can actually write in it. I think the book, if you buy the hard copy, you can write in it too, but since I downloaded it on here, and the reason I downloaded it is because sometimes I might not have this with me, but I have this with me all the time, so I can still follow it. Um, it is advice, advice if you do decide to do this, that you plan your meals accordingly. Um, tomorrow is uh, my flex day, so I plan to sit down and write out my menus. I actually did buy some foods, which the first, um, basically the first um, cycle is um, you don't eat bread or pasta or any carbohydrates. It's uh, someone who was on the Atkins diet. They told me it was very similar to Atkins, which I never did Atkins diet because when he died and there was some controversy, so I sort of was like, I don't think I want to do that. But the thing is, is that um, you can slowly start to eat those foods or bring those foods back in. It's just a matter of um, basically the first 17 days is to detox your body, detox your system. And um, I actually tried to start it. <laughs> That's why I'm saying um, make sure you read the book. Uh, go through it first, especially if you don't read the entire book because I haven't read the entire book. But go through it, look at cycle one, look at the, um, he gives you a list of foods that you can eat. Um, prepare your menu first, or your meals first, because that's going to be key. And the reason I say that is because I actually tried to start it <laughs> twice, but because one, um, I didn't really um, prepare properly, as far as when I say I didn't prepare properly, because I was in school and then I have other things to do plus with work and um, from the time I leave home and come back from work it's like about 12, 13, sometimes 14 hours so um, I don't always have time to just sit down and just plan my meal because most of the time especially when I get off I'm hungry so I have to find food and normally, um, my husband, like I said, he changed his eating habit. Um, he eats most of salads, like for lunch, or sometimes he'll eat salads for dinner. And then he will walk for like maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, my husband has dropped like about four, I think four pan size. And I'm like, okay. <sighs> so I got some work to do. <laughs> But needless to say, um, I am not planning to do this because, first of all, when you do this, they do get you to eventually, and before I was able to complete this because I, that was one thing I didn't want to just leave it off half-cocked or whatever. This program does work. Um, like I said, I did, when I was using it, I lost about... Um, 30 pounds or so because I lost over 70 pounds after the 45 pounds that I lost on my own and um, I did get a trainer um, I think I had a trainer for two months like um, from May until July I believe because he ended up leaving going back home to Africa and I hated that because he was an excellent trainer but um, um, what this program does teaches you is uh, they're like with this program the 17 day diet it has different cycles with this it has different um, levels of cycles too and eventually what they teach you is to move away from using their products or their food to eating regular foods and I will be honest when I was on this program I ate regular food the only thing because they would give you a list of um, foods groups that you can eat like you know basically some of the same stuff I eat now 
Um, but it's like you eat in portions and then I had to write everything down that I ate, which I'm pretty bad about that. But hopefully I can do better this time because I am going to try to do a food journal. Um, but I did not like the bars. I mean, to me, when I was on this, it was like you had to eat so much food. And the heavier you are, the more food that you ate. And I'm going to be honest, some days I really struggle to eat all of the food. This one um, is almost, I don't want to say it's almost the opposite. Because you're eating a lot of, um, in the first cycle, you're eating a lot of vegetables and things. And I think I'm going to have to come back because I'm over 20 minutes on this. So I'm going to stop it here and I'll come back and talk some more, okay? Peace.